All right, guys, so we are at number 14, and we got a new video for number 14 because this is a problem that um, requires a lot of thinking and probably some mistakes in fixing those mistakes. So anything that wants to make two different rectangular flower beds. So we're going to have an A rectangular bed and a B rectangular bed. And the area is going to be 24 squares feet. So the area equals 24 feet squared. And I know that area is found by length times width equals the area. And in this case, that's going to be 24. So that's kind of like a blank times blank equals 24. So I want you to pause it and think of some different ways that we can do blank times blank equals 24. I'll write them down. So when you have written down some ways to get to 24, by multiplying, because that's area, unpause the video. All right, so here are a couple of different ways that you can get to 24. Well, we can do 1 times 24 equals 24. We could do the commutative, 24 times 1 equals 24. We could do 2 times 12 equals 24. We could do the commutative of that of 2, I'm sorry, 12 times 2 equals 24. We could do 3 times 8 equals 24. And we could flip that. 8 times 3 equals 24. We could do 4 times 6 equals 24. And we could do 6 times 4 equals 24. There's no other ways here because 5, 5 times something equals 24. There is no other 5. It would be 5, 10, 15, 20, 25. We never get to that area of 24. So these are all the factors. These are all the different equations to get to 24. So I could use any of these to draw my two flower beds. Um, so I guess I'm just going to pick two. You can pick any two, and then we'll go on to the next part of the problem. All right, so I'm going to do 3 times 8. So my rectangle A is going to be 3, then times 8. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. So there's flower bed A. I'm going to label it right here. It's 3, 8, this side's 3, and then the top side's also 8. Well, I know that this area is 24, and I might as well just find the perimeter now, too. Um, so it would be 3 plus 8 plus 3 plus 8. 3 and 8 is 11. 11 plus 3 is 14. 14 plus 8 is 22. Okay. So, boom, got one of these Anthony's flower beds done. Now I'm going to do another one. And let's do, let's do 2 times 12. It doesn't really matter. So we're going to do 2, then we're going to go across 12. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. 12 is kind of a lot, so I'm going to double check. 2, okay, 12. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. All right, I got it. So I'll just finish off this uh, flower bed here, and I'm going to label it 2. I said 12. I double-checked that. 2, then the top part is 12. So we got flower bed A, flower bed B. I might as well find the area. We know that's 24 because they're the same. My perimeter, 2 plus 12. It's 14. Half of it's 14. The other half's going to be 14. So I can just put those together. And I get my perimeter of 28. So let's scroll down. And you'll notice my figures stay, stay on the screen and not on the grid. So part B says, which of the flower beds will take more wood to frame? You may not know what frame means, but think of a picture frame. Picture frame goes around the outside. So if he was building this, it would be the frame. It would be the outside. It would be the perimeter. 
So which one, which flower bed A or flower bed B would take more wood to frame or go around the outside? Well, outside, I can connect to the perimeter. So I look at the perimeters and it says more. So which one is more? 28 is more than 22. So it would be this flower box. You may not have the same flower beds that I drew, um, but the, this should help you off to the side to help you with your area. This problem is definitely tricky and there's not just one correct answer. If you have any questions about this one, make sure you talk to me. All right, number 15. Keisha draws a sketch of her living room on grid paper. Each unit square is one square meter. I see square meter, and I'm already thinking area, because area is the squares, the space inside. Write and solve a multiplication equation. Uh, that's also telling me multiplication, because... Area is found by multiplying. That can be used to find the area of the living room in square meters. It really isn't too tough of a problem. So off to the side, you should be showing your work. And it's 4 times 1, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. To find Inside, we multiply. So it wants the multiplication equation. So area equals 4 times 10. We know that 4 times 10, 10, 4 times 10, 20, 30, 40 is 40. 40 square meters. It's really important that you continue to think. And when you do your work off to the side, do 4 times 10. Now, when you guys take this test on the computer, you're going to really want to double check your counting here. Um, you may want to zoom in on the problem. Remember that's control plus, but make sure that you're double checking your counting here, just like I did with that last problem, counting to 12. You definitely want to make sure you count correctly because there's nothing more frustrating than miscounting. Number 16 is our last problem, and it's a go deeper problem. This is going to be a tough story problem. Mr. Wicks, Mr. Wicks designs houses. He's an architect. It's cool. He uses grid paper to plan a new house design. So this is just some grid paper. The kitchen will have an area between 70 and 85 square feet. Okay. So when I count up his whole kitchen, it's going to be between 70 and 85 feet squared. So that means it could be 70 square feet, 71, 72, 73, 74, blah, 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 all the way up to 85 feet squared. So the inside is a, in a bit of a range here. The pantry will have an area between 4 square feet and 15 square feet. Draw and label a diagram to show what Mr. Wicks could design. Explain how to find the total area. Huh. So this is definitely a tough problem. You're going to have to draw two rectangles. Okay, so let's go ahead and draw the pantry first. Now, in the story problem, the pantry is between 4 and 15 square feet. So, 4 to 15 feet. I'm going to pick a number in between here, and I'm going to go with 10. This is what I want my area of my pantry to be. So, my area is going to equal 10. How do I get to 10? Well, I'm thinking multiplication because this is area. 1 times 10, that would be a super skinny pantry. So I'm going to do 2 times 5. Still a little skinny, but I think there would be enough room. So I'm going to draw this first. 2, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. So that's my pantry, and I know that pantry has an area of 10. Now I have to... Do 10 plus something is going to be in this range. My goal is just to get to 70. So we're going to do 60 for the kitchen. So the kitchen is going to be blank times blank equals 60. So I'm going to do 10 times 6, and I'll try to finish this up in just a couple seconds. So you're going to do 10 times 6, 
and that would give you 60 for an 